Now let's uh, go ahead uh, and understand what system testing is. This is the uh, third, third test level in any uh, development life cycle. So system testing tests the behavior of the whole system or whole software as defined by scope. So system testing tests when everything is integrated into one all the modules are integrated into one software and you get a software as a whole with all the defined requirements being implemented then you start system testing so system testing test the system as a whole as defined by the by the requirement specification and um, uh, and and your design documents so the purpose of system testing is to find as many defects as possible. So in system testing, you, you try to find out as many defects as, as, as are possible. Then it is often carried out by specialist testers that form an independent test team. So system testing is done by independent test team. Developers are not at all involved in system testing. In integration testing, it's unit testing and integration testing developers are involved. Um, but in system testing, it's completely done by independent test team. And the system test environment should correspond to the production environment as much as possible to minimize the risk of environment specific failures not found by previous test cycles. So system test environment should should be very close to the production environment because uh, system test once the software is ready for system testing it is almost it has almost um, all the requirements uh, being implemented into it and it is it is a software or a system as a whole and will be going as it is into the production one with, with any defects that are found in system testing being fixed so so the test environment for system testing should correspond to very very close to production environment because that way you'll make sure that system as a whole is working properly and as expected as it should be in the production environment now, system testing should investigate both functional and non-functional requirements of the system. So, in system testing, it's nothing like you, you'll only test the functionality of the software. You'll also test the non-functional requirements of the system. So, uh, so like you will apply black box techniques, specification page should be used to test the functional requirements. So, we'll cover black box techniques or test design techniques in later uh, later sessions so you'll use um, all these different techniques to test the functional uh, requirements and uh, white box techniques um, those structure based techniques may be used to assess the thoroughness of the testing so in system testing to in order to test the functional uh, requirement you will use the functional um, you'll use the black box test design techniques and then you can also use white box techniques um, to see what is the decision coverage or what is the statement coverage um, and see the thoroughness of of the test cases that you have written for the functional testing and in system testing the non-functional requirement like performance uh, and load uh, testing should also be also be done to see how the system um, responds, um, for, um, how the system responds is when there is, you know, um, huge load um, on on the system. When there are simultaneous, simultaneously, when there are thousands of users logged into an e-commerce system, so something like that. So you should test functional and non-functional requirements both in system testing. Now, some of the test cases for system testing can be uh, system testing includes test cases based on um, software requirement specification, business processes, end user scenarios, 
high level description of the system behaviors, um, interaction with the operating system, and risks involved for the system. So when a tester designs the test cases for system testing, he usually re refers um, all these documents or any processes already existing um, to design the test cases for system testing. So you have software requirements specification, you use that to design your functional um, test cases or how the functionality should should be should be for uh, the integrated system um, then if there are any you know business processes already defined or um, there is business process documentation then that tester uses that to to write the end-to-end -end, um, to write the user scenarios or the business scenarios that system um, the software system should fulfill then if you have end user scenarios you you know um, how the user are going to interact with the system you use that information to design end-to-end -end scenarios for the system then you have high level description of the system behavior um, you use that information to design your test cases you use information how the system interacts with different operating system to design your test cases so uh, depending on how it interacts with Linux, you'll you'll design separate test cases for for um, Linux OS, and separate for Windows OS. So so depending on on what type of interaction, how the interaction happens with operating system, um, you design different test cases. Then system test cases should also consider um, if there are any risks involved for the system. So depending on the risks of different module, so suppose there is certain module, suppose in, for an e-commerce website, checkout is very critical module. So you will you will focus more on checkout and refund functionality um, for any e-commerce website because that is the core uh, core end-to-end -end thing that should happen. So users should be able to log in, add items to cart, check out successfully, cancellation should happen properly uh, refund should happen properly so these are critical or risky areas um, of any e-commerce system so based on the risk high risk you will identify more test cases around that area and include it in your system testing 